What would you call 600 vulnerabilities together in a pot? Apparently, an average Docker container is what that's called. A recent study by a company trying to sell more of their container vulnerability management software found that containers are in even worse shape than your parents' Windows PC that you'll inevitably have to spend eight hours updating over the coming holiday vacation. The good news is that even the known exploitable critical vulnerabilities are probably rated as low risk on your risk register, right? The solution, of course, is to buy a very expensive software build materials management application and hire the requisite busload of administrators to manage it. Because I just know y'all have the open headcount for that. In other news, it's goddamn nearly 2025, and here I am saying once again that ad blockers are a security tool. The baddies have been pushing malware through dedicated malicious ad networks for a while now. And recently, some have been observed once again using legitimate ad networks to deliver ads that try to trick people into running commands on malicious sites that the ads redirect to. Let's make ad blockers common again, particularly in a corporate IT setting. And finally, another security company is trying to sell their security stuff wants everyone to know that there are approximately 300,000 Prometheus exporters and servers exposed to the internet. These aren't intended to be accessible and can leak sensitive information, possibly including credentials. There was a time that we cared about least privilege, including not providing network access to services that are either designed to be protected or have no business value in being ex exposed to the open internet. Is this what cloud did to us? Stay safe and close those ports, my friend.